Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 10 of Ruby Ice Queendom. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I mean, yes, Blake, you're right. But there's no other way. You stop her. She's right. I mean, well, if there's no other choice, you do what you got to do. The one time that I really, Cody, <laughs> but as I was saying, the one time, the one effing time that I just want them to skip the opening and to just continue on. Be like Love Live. Love Live like started the episode and then they had the opening, and then there was like, oh, hey, previously on Love Live Superstar. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, that shit was funny. And like, um, okay. <laughs> Yeah, and the only way to wake her up, because if we lose that, we're just screwed.
That is messed up that they can only send a certain amount of people at a time. Because it was like, okay, let's just send everybody in. But I think that would still be too much for Wise. Do it. Mm-hmm. Well, Ruby don't got any more, and I, I I don't think John has any more either. So, just use three. Baby. Of course those two would be flirting right now. I hope this really is a good idea. Fucking Adam. Of course. Of course her fucking nightmare will be motherfucking Adam. Fuck you, Adam.
and stick to the plan. Fucking run. Holy shit. See, if only she had her bike, but I get it. Like, I understand, but like, damn. God dang, she's not even there yet. Oh, there's her bike. Ah, yes, big Nicholas. Oh, shit. Forgot all about him. Oh, my God. Please don't fuck this up. Please, and it might possibly be the last one, so once again, don't fuck up!
Oh my god, shut up, you little shit! Please hurry, we don't have enough time! Oh, God. Her true feelings are just coming out even more. We have four minutes left! Oh my god. But still. Girl, that's her innermost fucking thoughts right now.
Ruby, please hurry! I'm like so fucking stressed right now because I'm so scared. <laughs> and I got under right there. Aren't you? Mm hmm. Of course. A fucking course. A fucking course. You know, this is the, the cliffhanger. Every single week. Fucking cliffhangers. Okay. So if we are successful in waking up twice, we also got to snap that shit out of Blake. It's like, oh, Blake, two feelings coming out right now, bruh. Oh my god, like, these two might end up killing the dream versions of Nightmare Blake and Nightmare Weiss might end up killing each other next week. Bruh, is this how this show's gonna end? I mean, we have, like, we're, we're literally at the end of this show. It's just still, once again, wondering how this is gonna end, if we're getting an anime-only ending with this, or we're getting the ending that's somewhat similar to Volume 1, even though, like, like I've said time and time again all this ish that's happening in this right now did not really extend into this situation in the original series but hey once again I'm not mad at it I do like it when some things explain a little bit more but still at the same time you know hey I'm like we need I, I want to see what happens next I don't want to wait all the way until next Sunday just to figure out if these two are going to die or not or you know something good is going to happen if Ruby's going to be successful there's so much writing on this like oh my god but to see the moment that Blake was like let's do this and Yang is like no because what if you don't you know you're not yourself and such and I completely get that because of course Yang and Blake really truly care for each other so much and of course a fucking course we make them the end card this week because of course everybody ships these two so damn much they are like this so it made the most sense to yes let's make Blake and Lang Yang the fucking end card this week but yeah they really do care for each other like in a way like they're they're a couple just like how a lot of people ship both Weiss and Ruby and it hasn't had we haven't really gotten like official things too like it, it is so funny that her nightmare is not only like herself but really was Adam like I, I mean we I kind of knew that was coming because it's Adam and how she feels towards Adam and then at the same time it's making you think about that situation with Adam and such and, and like I feel like a lot of someone's gonna ask me one day like what is my hatred towards Adam all I have to say is watch the original show and you'll see because I can't stand him um and such and you know when he gets his dues justice but the, the clip that I saw maybe like a year or two ago your girl was happy Oh, your girl is so freaking happy. But the fact is that we are now officially in the last three weeks of this show. Um, anything could happen. I feel like next week we are finally getting the ending. Weiss will wake up. Blake will be back to normal and also wake up. Everybody's going to wake up and we're going and that's when Weiss is going to be like, what all happened while I was asleep for, you know, this many hours and such. And I think that's when they're really, truly going to explain. That's when also Blake and Weiss are going to have a heart to heart and apologize specifically for both ways. Of course, you know, Weiss apologizing for her family and then, of course, Blake apologizing for, you know, the not kind of really in a way misunderstandings but a lot of other things between those two and, and you know that their friendship is gonna blossom because they're my babies and of course because come on now they're all, all four of them they're buddy buddies and they're friends they're girlfriends as well but other than that guys that is my reaction to be towards episode 10 
of Ruby Ice Queendom. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos if you want to join the match of squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 11. Bye, guys.